Hey everybody, Saul Lee here. Uh, it's another day and time for another SAT Solve Live. Or in today's case, it's literally the same day as the previous and the previous, previous SAT Solve Lives. I'm gonna get into the digital <laughs> SAT practice test four. And I am actually going a little insane uh, because I've just been solving these back to back due to some unforeseen and uh, and sort of uh, unfortunate circumstances that are outside of my control, okay, where I am finding myself having to prep all these streams in one go because I'm going to be without a computer for a while. Anyway, it's complicated. So now I'm getting through all three of these um uh, practice tests two, three, and four, uh, and I think even practice tests one in literally 24 hours. Okay. And the reason um, I'm so out of it right now is because it's uh, 2.30 a.m., and I normally wake up at 5.30 a.m., uh, which means that, uh, let's say that you normally wake up at, uh, anyway, I'm just bad when I don't have a lot of sleep. So you're gonna see me struggle through this test. <laughs> like that's gonna, that's literally gonna happen. But the digital SAT practice tests so far have been so ridiculously easy that I've actually gotten perfect scores on all of them, uh, uh, except for one question that I think is highly, highly sus. Um, despite the fact that I'm not feeling so hot. So I guess we'll see what happens. I don't want to jinx it, but I feel pretty confident I'll do okay. Uh, that said, that's a whole hour of test taking ahead of me and we'll see what actually happens. Yeah? Okay, enough of the talk. I think I'm kind of getting long-winded at this point. Uh, let me go straight into some tips for watching this video for everyone who's watching uh, a replay. So if you are watching a replay, I strongly recommend that first you just take the practice test for you can find the link to the PDF in the description. If you click on the description below, you'll find the link there. While you're down there, if you want to hit that subscribe button and help me get to a thousand uh, help me get to a thousand subscribers, I'm at around 800 right now. Um, that will help me to actually add in more features to my video, such as being able to share links to things in the video itself, rather than having you guys go into descriptions. Uh, on top of that, you might want to speed up the playback. You might want to watch this video at 1.5, 1.75, or 2.0x speed uh, to keep yourself more entertained and more engaged. Uh, it's sometimes not that interesting, listening to me think out loud uh, and waiting for me to form thoughts, okay? So I recommend watching it at a faster playback speed and also turn on the captions or the subtitles if you're gonna do that. Uh, it's good to have a transcription of everything that I'm saying, even if it's inadequately translated or like um, sometimes if there's typos, or like it, uh, the, the, the algorithm kind of misreads what I'm, uh, misinterprets what I'm saying, you know, it's still better to have that text than not to have that text. So turn on the subtitles that will help you um, gain more out of this video. So those are my tips for watching this video. And a quick heads up on how I approach the SAT. You'll notice that I try to avoid process elimination. I try to avoid the typical tips and tricks because I don't think that they really help me. They actually make me more frantic, more panicable. Pan that's not a word. Uh, and and they, and they I end up getting s like lost in the details and I don't and I generally at the end of it I don't feel as confident when I take the test that way by focusing on all the process elimination instead I try to take my time to read the passage and understand it so that I can quickly answer the questions yeah so you'll see how that works in, um, depending on the questions type uh, as you watch the stream all right, with that out of the way, I can go straight into the test. Uh, not gonna lie, pretty tired right now. Uh, I just did two tests back to back and now this is my third. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Here we go, three, 
two, one, let's go. Why is my shortcut not working? Shortcut, go. Three, two, one, let's go. Osiris Rex briefly made contact with the asteroid Bennu in 2020. Reports, despite the unexpected obstacle, the surface mostly covered in boulders, successfully brought a sample. Okay, uh, 20. I'm um, getting a little slow. Uh, may not accurately uh, reflect softer, uh, may no longer be present. Okay, uh, 33. Let's keep going. Uh, handedness uh, typically is observed, easy to observe, but it's less obvious, it's less recognizable in many other animals. So, yeah. So 49. All right. Uh, it's by no means mm, to recognize the influence of Bosch on Banazai Seder. Indeed, he, it's, it's uh, wait, hang on. It's by no means um, out of bounds. Um, On, that's such a weird phrase and yeah I saw this on a previous stream when I did the blue book version instead of the PDF version because they overlap I don't know why the college board did it like that but anyway um, yeah but yeah this is still such a strange wording it took me a while to figure this out okay <laughs> the following text is adapted from Glassbell's short story out there looking at a picture hopes to sell and we're finding the main purpose. It seemed that the picture failed to fit in with the rest of the shop. A fellow who claimed he was closing out his stock let the old man have it for what he called a song for cheap. Uh, it was a little out of the way store with subsidies chiefly on the fr framing of pictures. The old man looked around at his views of the city, his pictures of cats and dogs, bits of landscape don't belong in here. And he was proud of his acquisition in his scowling as he shuffled about at least okay he really likes this very cheap picture that he bought to reveal his conflicted feelings i don't know about conflicted um resentment ah uh, come on i don't know if it's conflicted seriously is it Eh, I don't know, secret and conflicted feels kind of different to me, honestly, but whatever. I'm not going to argue. Uh, Black Finger, Grimka, uh, Cypress, Evergreen Tree, Sli Slim is Still, uh, I guess the gold, a, a tree, sens sensitive, a finger, the tree becomes a finger. A bit, are you black? Why are you pointing upwards? Okay, and then a question. Uh, distinctive sight, nature, what meaning to attribute to that sight? Uh, yeah. Okay, 329. I just had to double check the other answer choices really quickly. Calamus, uh, 1860, uh, structure. I hear it is charged against me and I see to destroy, but so accusations, I'm neither for or against. Only I will establish in the Manhattan at every city. Why does it matter in the fields and the institution of the dear love of comrades? I will institute everywhere. Questions of prevalent, no. Re no, he concedes, no. Addresses a criticism and then an ambition. Yeah. Uh, 408. The Mimosa, so this is a function question, by the way. Um, my mother tree, well, where the, uh, in, uh, introduced in North America, far from any B. Perennis in East Asia, okay? Asia, North America, okay? But evolutionaries between predators and prey can, wait, prey? Oh, on the seeds, oh, there's a beetle across centuries. 90% of trees have been tapped by the, okay, I see. Um, uh, uh, it's a it's a generalization, and we have an example afterwards. So, 
A generalization example, but this, yeah. Uh, yeah, five minutes. Am I too slow? No, I'm not, I'm actually pretty fast. Conventional wisdom long held that human social systems evolved in stages. Hang on, let me just double check. Graber and Wengro would have responded to conventional wisdom in stages. Bands of members equal status, then hierarchy with population growth. So if they were small, then they grew, and then they had hierarchy. Okay, have always been flexible, forming hierarchy, and then decentralizing, going back and forth, and alter alternating and stuff. So just agree disagreeing. Yeah. Yep, fit for 544, and we're gonna go. Uh, slip, what's up? The following text uh, is adapted from Burnett's The Secret Garden, uh, an overgrown hidden garden. We're trying to get the main idea. Uh, on Little Different Versions, she found something, a hidden garden, something to be absorbed in. She dug, she weeded, she became pleased. like a play. She, she found something she really likes. Um, yeah, uh, 621. That catches, those are just some synonyms for what I was looking for. Uh, pounds, him three, him the third, um, Flaminio. Uh, in what way is the human mind like a flower? Okay, we have to understand this analogy. As a fragile, lovely flower unfolds its foliage on the breast of the earth, if the dew rain draw it forth, if the dew and rain draw it forth, so doth my mind for it, if it be fed with the dew of the spirit. So it, it needs to be fed. It draws from this weather. Uh, it requires, yeah, needs to be fed. Uh, 657. Yo, I'm, uh, I'm, despite how tired I am, I'm kind of killing this. Um, call the wild, wow. Buck is a sled dog living with Thornton. Thornton. Okay, John Thornton. Now, the main idea here with Buck, Thornton alone held Buck. Rest of mankind was nothing, as in Buck only focused on Thornton. Chance travelers made blah, but he was cold under it all. Two, and from a two, he would get up and walk away. When Thornton's partners had arrived, they, he didn't even knew. No, okay, Buck only loved Thornton. So the main idea, less social. No, no. Nope. Yeah. 742. Kip. Woo. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Still streaming and practically dying at this point. Uh, uh, U.S. states with the great... Well, California has the greatest. Yeah. Wisconsin. New York. That's surprising. Is a method of growing food reduce environmental harm by avoiding pest control, a natural form of pest control, and avoiding fertilizers? Are still a small fraction, but they're becoming becoming more popular. In 2016, California between 2,800 farms, and in 2016, in 2016, all right, 2008, okay, and um, I guess the most effective is Wisconsin. Wisconsin is 12 and 14. Wisconsin and Iowa, 12. Iowa is incorrect. Uh, few is weird, and Washington is weird, and Pennsylvania have more than 1,200, and those are all incorrect. But where's Iowa? What the hell? Washington had 600. I mean, that's the only one that's true. What? This is such a dumb question. I almost used the word that for some reason has entered my, re-entered my lexicon. But that's such a stupid question. It's insanely stupid. What the heck was that? <laughs> like, it's such an annoying, just like, check the numbers question. Oh my God. Uh, support Gomez Baron and her team's hypothesis. Investigated, but one species, one subspecies of this flycatcher bird for part of the year and the other doesn't, okay? One and the other doesn't, okay? One migrates, one doesn't. Due to slight difference in feather shape, the, the migratory one, okay, makes a sound that's higher pitched than the non-migratory males. 
the fertile females attracted to the specific sound of their own subspecies, and that would further drive divergence. Okay, cool. So then we just need to find the females uh, attracted and di the, the, the species diverging. Shave Sh allow. Um, hang on, let me find females. Uh, same, no. Uh, high, progressively higher. Okay, they're changing even further. They're, that's diverging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's 1027. <clears throat> Ablation rates. Oh, I think I saw this. So there's like no obvious pattern here other than these are really high and those are not so high. Okay. Uh, H Cosmic dust, several sources, SPCs, ACTs, okay, because we have these four in literally that order. And they're bombarded by cosmic dust. Some of the m dust material vaporizes in a place called ablation. The faster they're bombarded, the higher their ablation. So uh, I guess HTC and OCC has very fast uh, bombardment. Lower rate than, yeah, faster. There we go. For example, whereas the average for iron, the average rate for AST is um, for iron. Okay, wait, hang on. We're talking about the same material, okay. We're talking about iron and we're talking about HCC or OCC. Iron for HCC is 90. Why not OCC though? Why is OCC not there? That's kind of dumb, honestly. All right, whatever. 1158, it should say OCC, honestly, and it should just say 98. All right, our collectives. Hang on, am I misreading something by any chance? Yeah, same material. Yeah, yeah. Our collectives, like the, I'm gonna say, work together. They usually involve some sort of collaboration. This can be difficult. We need to illustrate how they are not used to having, they are not used to ha having to collaborate. Hard time. Yeah. And I actually kind of remember this. Uh, it took me a while to uh, solve this because uh, I had to, I was still getting used to the question format and I did process elimination. If you want to see me struggle on this question, you can watch my digital SAT blue book stream because uh, the blue book version kind of awkwardly overlaps with the paper version. And so, yeah, you can see that over there. But I'm going to move on because I already know the answer. Um, mycorrhizal fungi on three plant species. Um, oh, dude, I'm overwhelming. I'm lost. Uh... So if you do have mycorrhizal fungi, this goes up and this goes down. Average mass grown in soil, treat to kill fungi, average mass containing mycorrhizal fungi goes up. I'm confused. Benefits many plants, substantially increasing the mass of some. Chose three plant species, including that are mycorrhizal hosts and one that doesn't benefit may even be harmed. Then grew some plants from each tree, both in soil containing and they've been treated, okay? So when, oh, so they get harmed quite a bit, whereas they're almost equal. Yeah, I see. What's the surprising part? That broccoli had no effect.
A slightly higher average mass? Maybe? Yeah, I guess that's the only thing that's surprising. Yeah, that's the only thing that's surprising. Everything else kind of fits. 15, 24. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my stomach is hurting and now I'm like losing. I'm losing steam. Several artworks found among the ruins of Pompey depict the female figure fishing with the Cupid. Some, she's the goddess. Cupid was fishing. Therefore, it's not conclusive of Venus. Yeah, that makes sense. You can't conclude that. 1551. Logic time. Oh, no. Grammar time. More than half of non credit to a celebrity are, in fact, written by gross writers. They uh, write other people's stories. All uh, right, 1606. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. The wood frog is an enemy that generates its own heat, so during periods of sub freezing temperatures, it survives. Present tense, 1617. After a spate of illness as a child, Rudolph was told she might never walk in. The biologist never just walked. She ran um, fast. During the day, she won both. Uh, yeah. And 1633, we can move on. Then we have, in many of her landscape paintings from 1970s, 80s, uh, splotches, the triangle representing the mountain itself is among, okay. Seneca sculptor, Mara was blanket art, comes in a range of shapes and sizes. Those so uh, are uh, wait, to craft a sampler later. Okay, so you don't need the later because, yeah. In 2014. Oh, okay, cool. So 1711, we can move on. Uh, Percy Julian was a scientist named once one of the greatest achievements. So we have to talk about a, an achievement synthesis, okay? Cool, 1731. Uh, Norway, the Garden, and the uh, Hardim are two of the many dedicated growing diverse plant species, both native and non-native, fostering scientific research. Oh! Wait, what? I only see... Species growing. Oh, dedicated to growing diverse plant species, both native and non native, fostering scientific research, and educating the public. <laughs> Hilariously difficult. All right, that took me a while. Uh, they're, they're loving this sort of a uh, semicolon as super comma thing. That's shocking why they're so fixated on it, honestly. But uh, Alton Okinawa sits on the review board, tasked with Hawaii Register, doesn't make such decisions single-handedly, however. All must be approved. Yep, that works. Uh, I, I forgot to write the time. What's the time? 1855. Uh, John Coiners introduced beer to, uh, Beal. Beal, beer, beer, Bill didn't make to, to a vote, but determined he turned with Chisholm, and they resubmitted every session for the next 15 years. Finally, it passed, 1911. All right. Uh, most logical transition. Uh, more to be logical volume. Simply larger. Have long considered, however. Okay. Was a prominent musical composer who toured the West, the child of a West African father, mixed race ancestry, Anglo-African. Um, and in fact, uh, actually, uh, wait, hang on. hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, in addition, he incorporated, he, those are two different examples, 1950. Um, actually, is also a little weirdly casual, so I was like, huh, uh, not ready for that. My stomach is hurting, but I'm gonna keep pressing because I only have four more questions. <laughs> Uh, 
my stomach is hurting because I drank coffee to stay awake. Uh, but I normally don't drink coffee at this time. It's terrible. Okay. When they taste a the dish known as pasrutum, they found that it had a mild taste and inspired a sense of calm. So, um, uh, therefore, knowing that it was named after the antenna effects theorized, the dish is unwinding, referring to its function. Yeah, therefore. 2037, although it's funny because you could be, it should be confirmation bias, right? Um, what research topic, following notes, okay, a difference between, we're emphasizing soda and powder difference. Okay, soda are leavening, but there one is pure, and it's a mixture uh, with an acid. Uh, it needs to be mixed with liquid, an acidic liquid. Okay, it already has an acid. So we just need to talk about how, we need to talk about acid. Where's acid? Where's acid, acid, acid? Okay, there we go. 21, 22. That's the main difference. Right? Let me just think about it. Yep. Uh, describe unwoven light to an audience unfamiliar with Sioux Sunny Park. So we need to talk about unwoven light. We're focusing on unwoven light. There we go. But then this is awkward, right? Uh, so in unwoven light, a totally bit, there we go. Light forms. Yep, yeah, correct. That describes the work but it also explains who she is. Uh, present the research to an audience unfamiliar, Uncle Wat. Kind of wish they would ask about people who are familiar, anyway. Um, Tan's research, where's Tan? Tan applied analysis to photograph and he revealed hundreds of images unknown to researchers um, using the stretch analysis. Tan photographed, nope. Is a novel, nope. Hang on. Tan's research that Tan used. Contrast, okay. Using a novel digital imaging technique, cool. 100 images hidden on the walls of a Cambodian temple. That's correct, because people will not know it's a Cambodian temple, now we define it. So, that's the research. Good, good subject and verb choice. 22.54, that's only 23 minutes. And I am pretty happy with that. I need to take a break though, because cause I need to take a break and I'm not gonna explain. <laughs> I need to take a break. So let me just let me cut, all right, reset the timer. We're gonna do module two. After a, I guess a five minute break. I think I need a five minute break. Be right back.
Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> I'm, I'm back, and I'm, I still have my sanity, uh, holding on to a thread of it, but it's still there. And I'm about to get into module two. Really, 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 really soon. I'm just really tired. My cat Ogu has decided to join, and is asking me to touch, touch him. To touch him where it feels good. <laughs> hey, Ogu. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I guess I should probably just just bite the bullet, right, and just get right into it. I think I will. Uh, I do invite you guys to distract me and maybe even keep me awake, <laughs> you know, with saying funny things. But, you know, that's up to you guys if you care for me at all. I'm just gonna get into it right now. Here we go. Module number two. Uh, I'm not gonna die. I'm just being a little pussy. Ah, I shouldn't say that, right? I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I should not say that. Um, I'm just being a little... Uh, I, I'm lacking vocabulary for this, so I'm just gonna just ignore, ignore everything I said for the last 10 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. The fashion resale market in which consumers purchase uh, secondhand clothing. Some analysts worry, predict, Oh my god, I'm literally zoning out. What the hell? Continued growth. I didn't see that. Predicted. Okay, there we go. 21 seconds. What the heck? That took so long. <laughs> that took too long. Artificially delivering biomolecules is an important component of protecting plants and pathogens, but it's difficult through doing this. Possible to overcome this problem. 38 seconds. Here we go. Question number three. Uh, spend much of the time observing what's invisible to the naked. Yeah, exactly. That's 49. Uh, Carlson examined a clavicle and bones of a little foot. They found these bones were the uh, were, uh, adapted to life in the trees. Similar to, similar to, comparable to uh, 107. Uh, it's like a, you know, it's like a quiz show, right? It's like a quiz show. It's fun. I'm having fun. All right, Delaney's novel, Babel 17, is the, uh, Wong is a poet, an occupation which is not uncommon, uh, which is not uh, uh, atypical uh, because so many of them are poets and writers. Okay, uh, 2020 exhibition, um, J. Yifus, uh, a series of images, um, Photographed, uh, created, I guess, uh, and layered the photos of magnified. Hang on. Huh. C created, I guess, not restored. So 201. All right, next page. And up, wait, I'm at two minutes. Nice. In addition to being a psychologist, Sumner was a, mm, helping to found it, was a kind of leader, was a proponent of increasing the opportunity. Yeah. And that is 22, 222. And the reign of a French monarch such as Capet or Henry I was historically consequential. Its trajectory was question of legitimacy and therefore cannot be a corollary understanding of the factors that allow to hold, retain, um, buttress his right to hold the throne. Um, yeah, to support. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, uh, the, the new, the digital SAT is more, more vocabulary. I'm going to keep saying this, more vocabulary. Some bird species don't raise their own chicks. Instead, adult females lay their eggs with in other nests. Hang on, I'm losing track. Slow down. They don't raise, they lay it in other nests. Female cuckoos 
have been seen quickly laying eggs in other species. So that's an example. After the still raised as uh, even if the cuckoos look very different. Um, uh, okay, I guess, yeah. That's such a weird way of phrasing this, though, because it's just an example, really. The cuckoos is the example of a species. Anyway, 359. Uh, we, that's such a strange word choice. Uh, like The correct answer is just like kind of written in an unintuitive way. Cats can judge unseen people's positions in space by the sound of their voices, and Riyadh was surprised when they called to them from two different locations in two short span of time. <laughs> two speakers. Low level surprise when they're placed from the same speaker, but high level surprise, yeah. That's f so funny. Uh, how did they determine the level of surprise? Based on their ear and head movements. Okay. Reacted to the stranger, uh, moved its ear and head. There we go. Ear and head, 438. Uh, performs uh, experiment uh, hypothesis uh, we're trying to weaken the hypothesis by the way uh, a slightly acidic soil environment is more beneficial than a neutral okay so coffee grounds Fifty fifty. Well fifty fifty might not be slightly acidic, maybe it's overly acidic. Okay. Or uh, or also weaken the hypothesis. We're taller. That's like this is so obviously weakening that I just was not I was actually not predicting it. I was not predicting it because it was so obviously the other direction. But yeah. She plant sixteen. Yeah. Uh, uh. My brain's not really working, so these logic questions are the ones that like I'm like struggling on right now because uh, I'm like slow and sleepy, um, sleepy and slow. I mean, but yeah, I think that makes sense, right? Do I need to double check this? Okay, six fifteen. I don't need to check. I I, I don't need to do process elimination. I'm good. Young girl, 1920, Mansfield. Unnamed 17-year-old girl, her younger brother out for a deal. Meal. <laughs> pleasant appearance, unpleasant smile. We just need a smile. We need a smile. Where's, where's the smile? Lip. Her gloves off, eyes shrunk. Oh wait, hang on, where's the, where's the smile? Oh, attitude, Ugh, attitude, uh, vulgar act, wait, uh, lovely nose, hang on, what's going on, uh, yeah, sh sh though she loathed it, and, um, uh, Dad, their love knows. I see. Ah, uh, that took me way too long, because, mainly because I misread the question. Okay. High levels of uncertainty about policies will make planning difficult for business, but they tend measures of uncertainty have not. The measures have not been very detailed. Recently, however, we were getting measures. Um, not just for general policy, but for areas, specific areas, like economic policy or trade tax. General measure may not fully reflect, okay, in the UK where general uncertainty is very different from 
So it's here general uncertainty goes this way, right? But um, this little trade policy actually is very low. And uh, tax is very, very high. Uh, so it's pretty uncorrelated. Also in 2005, 2005 trade policy and 2010 trade policy are pretty, pretty, pretty different. So let's focus on trade policy. Um, can I find trade, 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 trade? 2005 trade. Oh no, that's confusing. 2005 tr trade. Tr oh yeah. Okay, 855. Cool. Uh, Tannen cautioned. We're trying to support the hypothesis as cautioned against uh, two highly competitive perspectives. This can strip issues, strip issues of the complexity, and when used in front of us, can be less informative, and multiple perspectives non-competitive. So okay, so that's the hypothesis. The hypothesis is it, you can actually be more informative if you don't make direct competition. Uh, so we had a study in which they showed participants one of three different versions. Um, a de each version featured a debate, a panel, or a single. So the panel with three should be better than the debate with two. Not their perception. Okay, watch the panel answer more questions. Yeah, that's what informative means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1031. Okay, King Lear, uh, we're trying to use a quotation to illustrate some claim. He expresses regret for his action when he tries to test it. More sinned against, nope. Striking his head, his head is his gate that let thy folly in and thy dear judgment out. Yep. Okay, 1108, that's when he's uh, calling him, himself like, I had very poor judgment. Moving on. Broad themes that still appeal to today's audience. It's Italy tackles the theme of parents versus children, love versus hate. Yep, rate and produce. But understanding these so-called history plays can require several centuries. Consequently, knowledge of history. Okay. So we're contrasting the history plays versus the, uh, the uh, tragedies. Uh, are more relevant and uh, not relevant. Um, consequently, uh, Romeo and Juliet uh, perf perf experts prefer history. Um, that's a little strange. Uh, are likely to find less engaging. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I went through process elimination maybe because I'm tired and I wasn't really thinking very straightforward. Uh, so I don't think that was a very good, uh, I don't think that was a very efficient way of attacking that test uh, question, I mean. Pueblans, the civilization Pueblo emerged as early as 1500 in the southwest and dispersed, whoa, interesting, uh, abandoning uh, Turkey remains uh, at in southern Colorado in north central New Mexico determined the latter birds descend in part and the mice of vertebrates only after 2080. So that the central, the Rio Grande Valley are after 1280. What? Uh, did not did not cultivate before that that works hang on farming 
crops and turkeys. Share genetic markers appearing only after <sighs> I'm just kind of lost right now to samples from modern turkey perch uh, populations. Two different locations. The shared markers start in 1280 uh, in part and did not is too extreme. Uh, some migrated to the and carried farming prices with them. There we go. Because we got mixed later on. All right. That took me a while to figure out just because, I don't know, I just had to reread the passage until I figured out exactly what was happening. Martin, what's up? I'm just smashing the digital SAT right now <laughs> because it's so easy. I'm like slam dunking it. I'm like sleepy as hell and I'm just, hopefully I'm not jinx jinxing myself right now, but I'm getting through it really, <laughs> I'm like, my brain's not working. I'm still getting really high scores. So <laughs> the digital SAT is an embarrassment right now. The practice test at least. One challenge when researching with holding a, Ensuring we have an appropriate control group. Um, right, for elective office who do not otherwise similar to the office other, that's really hard. They therefore uh, are not able to, can only, people who previously held office rather than people who presently hold office, I guess only seems a little strong. They struggle to find out they do not No, it's off topic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There we go. Uh, 1550. Also previously hold this. Yeah, anyway. Uh, whoa. Whoa, I'm like dizzy. Uh, ugh. Newspaper article, census record ship logs to tell the stories of the immigrants. Uh, 15, uh, 1610, okay. Yay, grammar, uh, finally. It's like the home stretch. Memory test and autobiography. Explore themes such as, themes of. Uh, 1625. Uh, these grew up frustrated. They joined forces to find Cake Literary, a book packaging company that specializes in yeah, 1640. Grammar, grammar, let's go. A study led by Rebecca Kirby at the University of Wisconsin found that black bears have increased levels of this thing. Carbon 13, 13C, comma. That is correct due to higher 13C. Hang on. Carbon 13, 30C, and corn and cane sugar. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I just had to make sure the logic wasn't, I, I was double checking the logic, because grammatically that just seemed correct, but I don't know. I just wanted to check the logic for some reason. Just whatever, deal with it. <laughs> uh, was visiting uh, when he noticed Marcus of red paint on temple walls. Uh, with the help of this, he discovered uh, to be part of a, okay, 1742. Working from an earlier discovery of Carpent Charpentier, chemists recreated and genesis of a species of bacteria and forged, uh, to forge a tool that is revolutionizing. Hang on, recreate and reprogram the so-called genesis to form a tool. Okay, yeah, that's correct. 
1809. Uh, oversaw the installation of these things. Uh, shoot, by reducing the runoff, he, 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 the, the bioswales. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, 1832. Brew! So tired! So tired. I am so tired. A study published by uh, Ming Tang uh, offers a new explanation for the original Earth's continents, colon, geographical arcs that form when melts and then rises. Okay. Uh, 1902. I'm getting close to the end. Uh, home stretch. Home stretch, boys. It's the home stretch. 2021. Uh, afterward, instead of downplaying. Uh, yeah, so 1928. Uh, when soil becomes, it can be removed, uh, specifically, um, we can use this one technique. Wait, removed and disposed of. Alternatively, oh. Because it's detoxifying, that's different. Ooh, that was that was a close one, boys. And girls. And you know, everything in between. Um uh, That was close. Uh guys, no matter what gender you identify as, you are still my boys. When I'm talking like this, you're my boys. <laughs> okay, just just say. You're one of me, so just you're you're here for the ride, all right. Uh, while researching a topic, a student has taken the following notes. Um, oh, my brain. One, uh, we're trying to take an advantage of the calendar. Okay, let's get the calendar. Three sixty-four days, evenly by seven, falls on the same day, more predictably scheduling. Okay, those are. Uh, that's, you know, that's dumb. Uh, solve a problem, uh, but which one? That's not an advantage. Alternative, uh, work, same day. Yep. 21-12. Bueno. Chicos. Uh, notes. Uh, the influence theory. Unfamiliar with the Confederacy. Okay. Let's get the influence theory. This influence theory is... Um, the principles of great law of peace influence. Okay. Uh, it's an alliance of six nations bound by the great law of peace. The influence theory posits that the great law of peace influenced the U.S. Constitution. Um, um, uh, the great law of peace uh, is. Uh, holds the harder nuts that are together. Okay. This could work. Yep, that works. And it's funny because they actually never mentioned the harder nuts. Hadenosani Confederacy at all directly, but that's actually smart. That's smart. That's smart, and that's a that's a hard question, or I think it's a hard question. I, I don't know. Maybe it's easy, but it's hard to be. It's funny because for me, what I consider hard is when the correct answer is not obviously correct. Uh, but I think when most students, what they consider hard is they can't eliminate the other three. Uh, but I don't really care about. That you know what I mean, and those are two different standards. Um, so sometimes I will think something's hard when kids who are getting worse scores than me are think they think it's easy. But the reason they think it's easy is because 
it can easily eliminate the other three and they're just stuck with this one answer choice and they're happy with it because they got one answer choice. But for me, I still think it's hard because I don't understand the answer choice, right? So that, that can happen sometimes. I don't know why I'm talking so much during a time test, but just roll with it, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Deal with it. All right. Um, how hot this relative to nearby stars? Um, so, I mean, honestly, for this one, I, I feel like I can figure it out without even... <laughs> like, I don't even have to read the rest of the... Yeah, this focuses too much on classification. Yeah, I don't even have to read it. That's kind of weird. Maybe that's bad question design that I think, but I used to, I actually really like this question type, but wants to introduce her book to an audience already familiar, already familiar with Atlanta Monthly. Cool. So that's definitely wrong. Uh, we just want to have this, okay? And we want to emphasize the book. Oops. Okay, the faraway woman on the Atlanta Monthly must be the book. Contributors of the first published. Oh no. Uh, discusses, okay, who's the autobiography previous? Oh, perfect. Oh, in the magazine. Oh, that's perfect. Yo, that's so good. And actually, it wasn't very efficient. It wasn't very efficient for me to just go straight to the answer choices. Honestly, I think it would have been better if I just read the thing. Um, so uh, start with the question. Emphasize similarity between the two ways a frigate bird acquires food. And then figure out the two ways and then get the answer. I think that's still better. So one way is by using the bill to snatch. Another way is by taking it from, stealing it. <laughs> this is kleptoparasism, okay. Okay, it doesn't dive, it snatches from the surface or it steals. In addition to snatching prey, takes food. But we're not talking about a similarity. Uh, what's the similarity? Oh, that's the similarity. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. Uh, it's like funny. It's like a it's like a little logic question. All right, man. Uh, I talked a lot. Yep. Yo, so I'm uh, I'm like dead. I'm like seriously legit. So I, I'm, uh, my brain's so fried, but I am still confident enough that I don't want to buy. Am I confident or am I lazy and sleepy? I might be confident or lazy and sleepy or both. Okay, don't really know anymore. Uh, but I, I cannot be bothered right now to go and double check my answers. So, so let me stop time. Why is my shortcut not working? This always happens. Very annoying. Very annoying. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna just stop time. I'm gonna pull up the answers right now on my computer and uh, and just double check. And I, I honestly, like, the College Board has published like the easiest practice test ever. I mean, I really wish they designed a harder test. Uh, so, <laughs> So yeah, the curve is fucking brutal. I don't know if you guys know this. It's terrible uh, because I think I heard that if you get three, if you get three wrong, you get immediately knocked down to seven thirty on the reading and writing. Okay, it's brutal, and that's not a good test. It's not a good test for the kids at the top. It might be a decent test for kids who are getting less than seven hundred but it's not a good test for kids who are getting above 700. This is it's a terrible test right now. All right. One. Oh, no, I'm, why am I just counting? Uh, I'm looking here. Okay, here we go. I chose on this page 
B A A C B A A C R, correct? Let me zoom in real quick. B A A C R, correct? I chose A B D B A B D B R, correct? I chose B D C D B D C D R, correct? Okay, let me zoom. All right. I chose A B C A A B C A R, correct? I chose A A A D D A A A D D R correct. I chose D B C B D B C B correct. A C D A A C D A correct. Oh, come on, me. Give me something harder. A D D C A D C. I got thirty-three I've been waking up at five thirty a.m. every morning this week. I've been getting, you know, you know, normal amount of sleep, like seven, six, seven hours per day. But I've also been working out for the first time in a year, and uh, you know, it's tiring. I'm very tired right now. It's three forty a.m. right now. I've been away for twenty two hours. Uh, I shouldn't be able to get a perfect score at College Board. I should not be able to get a perfect score. So hopefully, something interesting happens here. All right. I chose D D B B B B D D B B B B is correct. A C C A A C C A. Ah, oh, come on. A B D A B D C C A B D C. Dude. A B D D A B D D. A B B A A C C A A A C C A. Oh my God! Final two questions. A B. I got thirty three out of thirty three, <laughs> and I have hella time left over, dude. College Board. Write a better test. Now, I know, like I still sympathize with the with the aims of this redesign. But I am I, I know I know I know I know I know that what's gonna happen is be, they're gonna need a at some point they're gonna feel the pressure right to like write a test that's actually useful for kids who are at, or basically actually useful for the Ivy Leagues right now this test is pretty much not useful for the Ivy Leagues um, the reading and writing like if I was like Harvard I'd like start like and if I if I had this belief this doubt about the about the SAT where you know I thought that the college board was just going to commit to just being like this dumbed down um I would probably consider making my own test again you know the original reason why the college board exists is because previously the universities had their own tests and the college board came around being like, well, let's standardize this, you know? And it was a fucking great innovation that you don't have to take like multiple tests for this, the, to apply to multiple universities, okay? But I would, you know, if I was Harvard and I thought that college board was literally gonna commit to this for like ever, then I would start looking into developing all, my own tests for, you know, higher literacy skills. And, <laughs> And College Board is not going to let that happen. So you know what they're going to do? They're going to start, but but, but they're not. But they're not going to apparently add long passages. So within this short passage format, what are they going to do? What's the only way to make it more difficult without making the reading more difficult? By adding really tricky logic questions into them. So you're going to be you're going to be basically ta taking like the LSAT mini, okay? Extremely difficult logical questions, and also extremely maybe arcane grammatical questions uh which i really hope that doesn't happen but and i don't think it will because i think the sat the college board's kind of leaning away from that but then really hard vocabulary questions and it's going to be like the old sat all over again really hard logic really hard vocabulary the current sat is a fucking beautiful reading test because it actually requires you to read <laughs> you know uh and if you're not gonna get if if you're gonna get rid of the long passages, then what's left? What's left is really hard logic and really hard vocabulary, and it's it's coming, kids. It's coming, whether you like it or not. 
the really hard grammar, uh, sorry, maybe the really hard grammar too, but hopefully not, but the really hard <laughs> logic and the really hard vocab, they're having a comeback because of the format of this test. It's inevitable. Now, if I'm wrong one year from now and they don't swing back, okay, I'll eat my words, but I'm making the, pro I'm making the prediction right now that people are gonna start freaking out about the vocabulary, SAT vocabulary, it's so hard. And oh my God, I don't understand, like logically, like, like if and then, and if and then, and before and after, right? Some of those are already coming out on these practice tests and they're already, and these are the easy practice tests, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's gonna get it's gonna get ugly, guys. It's gonna get real ugly. Anyway, so that's my prognostication. Okay, <laughs> now and then all the fucking SAT tutors are gonna just start dropping like two dollar words constantly. Um, oh, I uh, I must I must. Uh, oh, dude, I actually I forgot I forgot how to speak like this because I stopped using vocabulary like this. But you know, uh, <laughs> you're gonna be I. Um, I am an object of reproach for my meandering ways. And you know, like we're gonna be dropping like $2 SAT words constantly. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pre 2000 and uh, pre 2016 uh, redux. And you know what? If you didn't start your vocabulary, well, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you guys, are, you guys gotta, you guys gotta start beefing up right now, cause I, 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 I guarantee you, it's, I, I, there's no other way. How else is the SAT gonna get harder? How else is the SAT gonna, using the format, right? How else is it gonna get harder? I don't see it, at least not yet. I will do a little bit. I will be doing more of a deep dive, and I, I'm gonna actually start writing my own sort of like imitation versions of these questions. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure that what Princeton Review and Barron's is gonna come up with and Kaplan, I'm sure what they're gonna come up with is gonna be absolute garbage. Just hot, hot steaming piles of garbage. Uh, steaming delicious garbage. And so I'm pretty sure I need to re write my own questions if I wanna teach, if I wanna teach classes at the caliber that I wanna teach. Um, so when I start making uh, my own versions of these questions, I'll have a more intimate understanding of, of the possibilities, right? And maybe I'll eat my words like within three weeks, right? Um, maybe I'll realize that there's actually ways of like dialing up the intensity without having to 100% rely on vocabulary and logic, but I'm pretty sure, I am pretty sure that really the, the only path forward is to make the vocabulary a lot harder and the logic a lot harder. And it's gonna be the LSAT mini. <laughs> it's gonna be the LSAT mini. It's gonna be the old SAT all over again. All right, well, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. And, and God, it's such a tragedy because my whole SAT, I mean, my brand on YouTube, my, my 796 subscriber brand on YouTube is the guy who actually reads. And now the re actual reading is gone from the SAT. I'm, it, it is a tragedy. It's, I'm sad. I'm sad. But what can, what can you do, man? <sighs> well, Take advantage, yeah, take advantage of the opportunity while, while, <laughs> while it's hot, you know, you can still take the SAT while it's still relatively easy. I mean, presumably, I don't think it's gonna swing that dramatically. Oh, you guys aren't, if you guys are in the US, if you guys are in the US, they might take the next year to recalibrate the difficulty level of these questions. And so uh, if you're in the US, uh, yeah, you might not have a chance to take, like, cause like take these practice tests right now, right? I just took, I literally took four practice tests in 24 hours and, and it wasn't that painful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, obviously I'm a teacher and everything, so I'm supposed to, it's supposed to be relatively easy for me, but compared to, like, I could never imagine doing even three um, current SAT reading passages. Skip the writing, just the reading. If I tried to stream three reading tests of the current SAT in one day, I'll just, I, would, I would bleed, <laughs> like, I'm out of my eyeballs. I would bleed out of other crevices, <laughs> you know? It would just be terrible. It would be the worst. Um, but 
four practice tests in 24 hours up until 3.47 a.m. where I am currently. And I got like a perfect score. Dude, dude, there's something wrong with this. This is not, it's not supposed to be this easy. <laughs> it's not supposed to be this easy. So anyway, you can't escape the curve, guys. You can't escape the curve. Uh, so we can artificially make the, the questions easier but then the curve is just gonna be more extremely brutal. And because the curve is so ridiculously brutal, the college board will have no choice but to make the questions harder again. And what are the options that are remaining? The two options that I see is harder vocabulary and harder, because we don't have the option to have harder reading, then the two options are harder vocabulary and harder logic. <laughs> and this will be good for some of you guys, because some of you guys are extremely good logicians, like, like the if and thens and the befores and afters and like, you know, and the compare contrast, right? You're really good at all of that, right? And you're really bad at reading. So actually for you, this new test, even if it does get harder, you'll be fine uh, comparatively. Uh, whereas some others of you, uh, your, your sort of like, you know, abstract reasoning abilities are not as strong. Uh, your math scores are also kind of weak. You know, and, and they kind of, you know, feed into each other. Uh, and, but you were always a pretty decent, like you've, you've been reading a lot, you know, then you'll, you'll now have to really specifically make a concerted effort to improve your logical reasoning abilities and also potentially your vocabulary. Uh, that's my prediction. Again, this, these, this is just some prediction some, from some random guy on the internet. So don't take this as the word of God. I am not God, even though I sometimes... <laughs> get confused for a for the son of god um don't take it uh you know as set in stone i'm not college board but those are my predictions yeah yeah and so far the curve on these practice tests have been brutal at least from what i've heard you know i heard that from somebody in my, in, in, in my Discord server that when they got three wrong on the practice test that their score dropped to 730 70 point drop for three questions wrong. That's insane. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. <laughs> but this is currently the hand that's being dealt. So you got you have no real choice other than to deal with it. I guess you can switch over to ACT. I think that makes sense. Uh, that actually might be reasonable, honestly, switching to the ACT. Um, so you can try it out. And it doesn't hurt to try it. So if you want to try it, uh, go for it. Uh, but yeah, chef's kiss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am pretty sure the College Board will, will recalibrate the difficulty, and it'll be kind of similar to the old SAT uh, by the time uh, 2024 comes around and the U.S. kids are taking it. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for predictions, because predictions are basically baseless, you know? There's no real, like we need data really to make better predictions. And the only data I have is the shape and the formatting of the current tests. So that's all I have. So realize that it's, we're, based, we're basing all of these predictions on pretty shallow data. Uh, so don't, don't read too much into it. We kind of have to wait and see. All right, well, I, I wanna go get some sleep because uh, I have a flight in, five hours, six hours, less than six hours, uh, or to be technical, fewer than six hours. I wonder if that's the kind of stuff that's gonna come out on the SAT now. Fewer than six hours, not less than six hours. <laughs> Dude, it pisses me off just to have to say that. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> But you know what? If they do swing back that way, it's fine for me because I actually wrote a grammar book uh, and I could just go back to that grammar book. Uh, so whatever, <laughs> you know, uh, the extremely technical grammar book, we can go back to that. Uh, all right, guys, going to go. Hey, but uh, keep your spirits up and, you know, like keep your eyes on the prize, which is 
the, whether it's vocabulary, whether it's logic, whether it's reading abilities, all of these things actually do pay off in the future, okay? The SAT is not the end goal. That's not the prize, okay? The prize is being a dope-ass motherfucking person, you know? And to be a dope-ass motherfucking person, you want to be, a, you want to be smart to the, to the, to, to the level that's called for, you know, and it really helps to be able to communicate clearly with grammatical rules and stylistic, uh, uh, stylistic choices. And it really helps to have strong reasoning abilities and logical uh, clarity. And it really helps to be able to read things and understand what people are saying. You know, that's really good long term. So whatever the challenge is that's in front of you, just don't make it some meaningless hoop that you have to go through. Just think about the long term. Think about the long term. The long term is if you invest a little bit of energy day by day into improving your vocabulary, into improving your grammar, into improving your communication and your sentence writing abilities and improving your logic and improving your reading, you know what? Good things will happen. All right? Good things will happen. You're just going to give off the vibe of a highly intelligent person and you're going to get more job offers, right? It, good things will happen. So keep investing in yourselves and I'll end it on that. Guys, I will see you next time. Until then, keep on learning, keep on growing. Peace.